Time now for our regular focus on mental health and well-being in Mind Matters with Dr Sean. Well, Christmas can be the highlight of the year, but it can also be very difficult. Dealing with mental health issues, family tensions or a recent loss can add strain to the festivities. There's also pressure to change in the new year. So earlier, Sean spoke to psychologist Laverne Antrobus and started off by asking her what kind of pressures one might have to deal with. It's, a, it's about a time when... You know, you know something's going to happen, but it's not ordinary in lots of ways. But I think we've built it up to be quite ordinary at Christmas time. I think what Christmas doesn't do, it doesn't sort of take account of all the things that have happened during the year that you might still be recovering from in some way. So we know that it's been a difficult time coming through the pandemic. Mm. But that set aside, you know, there have been lots of losses, as I, I imagine people have had to struggle with, changes in, you know, their jobs, in their circumstances. And I think putting all of that to one side for a couple of days actually takes quite a lot of planning. I think the biggest areas around changes in family, losses that people have struggled with, you know, I think we've got to think, well, if we're going to invite somebody around who's had a loss, they're not going to be the same somebody that we might have had before. And, and we've got to be able to tolerate how sad they might be, actually. How might you deal with your own loss and the loss of somebody who was always there, perhaps, and is not this Christmas or this, this yeah. festive time. Take a moment, sort of walk yourself through the few days that you're going to be having and really work out what you're going to be able to manage, what you need some help with and what you might just need to push to the curb this year because it's just too much. You work with children and adolescents and I wonder how you manage as a as a parent you might manage their expectations because everybody mm. is finding it tough at the moment the financial circumstances yeah. are very different than they have been in previous years what would your advice be well my advice would be check in with your children to hear what they think they've heard about you know the financial difficulties and constraints are under but actually i think this is a moment for parents and it won't be the same for all parents that's the sort of sadness of inequity I suppose but for some parents they'll have to say it's going to be a very different sort of Christmas this year and we're going to have to manage things slightly differently and cut our cloth accordingly. I think once children know that they're much more able to manage. What about the rest of us? How might people manage for example stress, anxiety, depression mm. over this period when their usual support mechanisms might not be there? I think you've got to be planned. I mean, I, I'm a great one for thinking, you know, what is it that I know about myself that I think I might need? And how can I ensure that I connect up with the people that I need to connect up with? I think we know that, you know, I can say, you can say, make sure you call a helpline or you, you speak to somebody on the phone. But some people simply won't do that. Mm -hmm. So I think we have to accept that for some people. I think we've also got to be a little bit neighbourly in some ways. Yes. I think that's slightly a bit out of kilter from the pandemic. What about looking forward to the new year? We often set ourselves targets, resolutions. Mm -hmm. You know, this year I'm going to be like this or I'm going to do that. Are those helpful? I would pull back this year, personally. I would say, look, you know, just take stock. Think about a few things. So maybe, you know, doing something for yourself that you enjoy doing, you know, taking yourself out for a, a nice treat, whatever that might look like, you know, just for you. Meeting up with friends, if you can't meet up with them, get on the phone and speak to them. I definitely think this is a moment for getting yourself ready for the new year, looking after yourself, and then actually you have a bit more of an opportunity to open that lens and to be able to look after and do the things that you need to do. Some people will really give themselves a hard time over Christmas because of maybe breaking healthy habits or overindulgence. Your advice for that, what would you say? I think don't sweat the small stuff, really. Let I it go. Mean, I think in the great scheme of things, if, you, if you're having a good time and you're feeling, you know, in control, then just go for it. All right, Laverne, might get you round. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Thanks.